Greetings and welcome to this brand new video. In this video, we will discuss in detail about which iOS version is the best to stay on if you want a jailbreak or to customize or tweak your device in the future. We will first of all look at the security content for iOS 18.1 and we will be focusing on this CVE which is a use after free bug which was addressed in iOS 18.1. And if combined with other bugs, it may lead to a jailbreak in the future. The best thing is that you can see this POC or proof of concept for the CVE also here released by this developer. And you can see it on its official GitHub page and you can read about all the technical details. You can see this app by this developer also and when you use it, it will panic your device and you can see this panic log here making sure that this bug exists. If you want to try this app, you can simply head to this official GitHub page. You can go to releases here and you can simply get this app to your device and test it out. This app has been tested on iOS 18.0.1 and you can see this panic log right here. Before you get your hopes up, this is just a proof of concept and it has to be built to make it usable. It is a use after free bug as we discussed earlier and the success rate is very low. It is about 8% and it will just write this value to the PC register. Which iOS version is the best to stay on? So unless you are using an M2 iPad. Now the problem with M2 is that with iOS 18.0 they switched to SPTM from PPL and for other devices if you are on 17.7.1, 17.7.2 or 17.7.3 or higher you should delay OTA to 18.0.1. You can delay OTA to 18.0.1 up to 26th of January 2025. Also if you are right now on iOS 18.1.1, 18.2, 18.1 please don't worry. What you can do is you can check this downgrade guide in the description which will get you to iOS 17.6 beta first and then from iOS 17.6 beta you can delay OTA to 18.0.1 point one following this guide you will find this guide also in the description so please make sure to check it out and of course if you are on 17.7 or earlier or you are using m2 ipads please stay there do not update also if you ask me for my device i am staying on ios 18.0.1 and to make sure that you do not update automatically you can use tvos 17 profile which will block updates that's all for this update if i have more information to share i will definitely do it with you i will see you in a new video goodbye and take care of yourself